Hello there everyone and welcome back to Nova Atis. It's been quite a while since I uh, uploaded anything of this, but I was trying to set up my colonies and do some other stuff. Or, uh, you know, getting some of the uh, grindier stuff done to be able to prepare an episode. And then I had the the uh, Rise of the Boshin War mod come out and that seemed pretty popular so I started doing that more. And since this was so grindy, I sort of like, mm, yeah, you know what, I'll do that tomorrow. And then it became, you know what, I'll do that tomorrow. And it continues so forth. Um, also, I should probably mention here that uh, I've had a fever for, a, for uh, a couple of days. And so if I sniffle a bit uh, or cough or anything in the video, I'm, I hope you can understand. Because I sort of just, well, I'm, I'm still I'm feeling a, b a bit, which might, you might be able to hear on my voice. Uh, but anyways, we're back at Novaitis. Um, I should also mention that it was said that um, that uh, I, I think 500 days or something, the mod sort of crashed, or I, I remember there was a comment about it. And uh, so I am at, I think, 470 days or something like that. So I'm not entirely sure. It might be just 30 a day, 30 days away from uh, not being this save, not being playable anymore. So I'm not entirely sure what what I will do if that happens. If I will end the mod or end it, or uh, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens, and then you guys decide. Anyways, I've gone ahead and I've started building. I've built up my colony quite a bit. With, well, a lot of it, well, most of it, 99% like are just these houses. So that my colonists can live um, in the town. And I've set it up like this. Sort of a, a little bit looking like a town. This thing wasn't actually supposed to be there. Um, but I guess, I guess it's kind of fitting right there. Um, that's not supposed to be there. That should be, I should have moved that. They, they seem to the houses seem to move sometimes, but anyways a lot of that is houses I built this because I need a lot of tools and Well, this is the newest exciting building that I actually built uh, that and the the smithy uh, So this one's supposed to be able to get me some sugar so I can actually start making some money at some point So this one should be able this building which is some kind of trade center should be able to trade some sugar with the uh, the natives. Let's see if I remember how to move the buildings. I don't think I remember that, but I can show you how to build something. Uh, so we got stage one here. So those chacks is what I made most of. Uh, I haven't actually placed them well. Because I have, I think I have pretty good work rate. It's still, it's like 200 something percent. So I'm not entirely sure how much you need. Um, not entirely sure if you need movability. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Trees, just decorative. Um, so forth. Stage 2, which I just recently got to. It's a bit more exciting. We got like more proper houses. Um, and we've got some like markets, village chapel, blacksmith, uh, lumberjack, stone quarry, wheat farm, and trade goods producer, which is the one that's built right over there. What I really need now is, I think I need wheat farms to get food in, because I've seen the food levels go down quite a bit. And I'm not entirely sure my imported will my imported food will suffice. So I think I need to build some of those. Um, so why don't we go ahead and do that? But we want to place them somewhere away from town. So uh, I'm not entirely sure. Let's just run off in the distance here and see if we can place some. And I can also show how you uh, how the the placing down of buildings. This is very advanced, I must say. I was kind of, kind of surprised that this was in the mod. There's so many really advanced system in this mod. And, um, I mean, that would be really cool to see stuff like this be transferred to other mods. 
or uh, be uh, have you know similar functions in in other mods. Uh, let's see, how far can we run here? This area is quite large, isn't it? Where is actually the end of the map? I wish I had my horse here. You know what? You can move buildings anyway. So if I w if I if I felt that I needed to, I can I could move the building. Anyways, what we want then is I think we need food. Well, we really need all of this like timber and stuff. But I think if the if the colonists starve, that's not good. Okay, so just push myself. We're going to move away because this building it's very large for just providing 50 food a week, but I think a a a, a let's see, uh, I can't actually remember, but it's, I think a citizen. Oh shit! I'm gonna crush myself this way. Um, I think a citizen uses up. Fu oh shit! Uses up five. Five food? Five pieces of food? Um, five pieces of food a month? Or, yeah, whatever the cycle is. A week? You know what? That's probably fine. Press enter. And we save the building. So I put this barn down. Okay, it's... Where the original place where the building is placed down has those barriers on them. So that's why I'm unable to run in a few places. It will correct itself, hopefully. Once I actually uh, go in and then come back in. Uh, go out, I mean, and then come back in to take a look at this. Um, so we, we've got the colony going. So that's good. And I've got 92 people. So we also need buildings in there. So I think we can go ahead and go back in. And I think I have still a few uh, more uh, tools and stuff so I can place one of the new houses I've got. And I need to figure out how to move this blacksmith. But let's place um, <coughs> one of the new houses I've got next to this one. So we get a bit of a more towny feel to this. So we've got this nice big stone house sort of in the middle of town at, at the moment and let's place one of the new houses next to it these these three all cost the same and they will act, um, act the same I think we'll take this one because this one looks the largest so that's a pretty nice house let's do a, let's do a spin of it seems rather nice a nice colony house. Uh, let's see. How close do I want it? Like that? That'll probably look fine. Boom. Do I have any more tools? No, now I'm out of tools. And, oh, did my farm move? No, my farm is still there. Roughly where I put it, didn't, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, it's exactly where I put it. Very nice. So, uh, I just, maybe, you know what, this, this one has a really flat background here. Maybe I can move it up to the the wall of one of these buildings on the back. Um, and that probably would look good. Maybe not on the trade place, but next to this one. Or just next to it. Like, the blacksmith lives in that house and then he's got his smithy next door to it. Anyways, I think that's enough of the colony hopefully they'll start to actually produce some sugar for me so I can actually make some money out of this um, so we're gonna go ahead and leave so here we go I've uh, uh, built some uh, uh, fortifications here so the place is uh, a bit fortified with wooden walls and stuff and this is how the I've gone ahead and I've discovered um, all the different places I can settle and I've also discovered a lot of the Aztec Empire's cities and so forth. I also went in to the jungle and the tribal town to really like scout them out and clear out as much of the um, jewels and stuff. 
I noticed though, I think it's in the jungle, there's a, a cave you can go in and you can mine gold, but I didn't do that because, well, I don't need gold. <coughs> Says I don't need gold, but it would be nice maybe to uh, have set up a, a proper mine or something there with people to mine it and send gold back to the homeland. Anyways, we're war at home, as you can see a medium sized group of enemies spotted near Yardar. So we've got a war going on at home with a few factions. So I think without further ado, let's go ahead and go back home and see if we can't capture some castles in the mainland of, I was going to say Europe, but um, obviously this is uh, Caladria. So yeah, off we go. And so I've traveled back to... Uh, my main keep, my main castle, or my main town, I should say, because it is a town. Um, Aldenbra. And at current, we are at war with the, what's they called? The Algonquic, uh, no, Agonic Order. Algonquic, what the fuck? Uh, Agonic Order. Those we are currently at war with, and it would be great. If I could incorporate the, the town of Voluca into my current sphere of influence, and then I would very much just control uh, this entire region, which would put me as a powerhouse ready to, you know, take on the king, because that was the main thing to see if we could uh, do a, you know, I guess, a civil war. And take over the kingdom. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But this would come a long way. Obviously, of course, if the king gives us it, I could. I guess once I take it, I could refuse to give it up when the king gives it to someone else, and that could start the civil war. But the question is, if I have enough people loyal. Uh, within here to actually support support my cause and also if my character has enough um, I definitely have enough piety and I'm not entirely about renown but my my prestige is very high I am a duke after all and my right to rule is 30 so it's a lot better than I have in the the Shogun mod um, and I've got <laughs> I've got two friends, but I think you need almost over 50 to have them as friends. So Earl has been, and I mean I probably have a lot more um, friendly people because every time I, c I come across someone and he and I and it's like, oh, you're an open-minded person. Well, I too am an open-minded person. Let's be friends. Um, so I probably have a bit more there. Anyways, we're gonna pick up. Quite a lot of our troops. Uh, men at arms. We have advanced quite a bit through the um, the what's it called? Uh, you know what? Maybe I need a cannon. Can I buy a cannon? I want to see how cannons work. Now that I have enough gold for it. Oh, there's no cannons. Oh yes, there is a cannon. Ten thousand. I've got sixty thousand. Boom! I got a cannon. Traded for a piece of pork. Uh, I think I need gunpowder though, and I probably need cannon shot for it as well, and cannon cr I have cannon crew, but I don't have enough. Um, it would be nice if you could blow up the castle, or blow up the castle walls. We want the castle. Uh, where was I going? I was talking about something else. I'm, I'm gonna blame the fever, and not my absent-mindedness, or my, my, uh, my spread thoughts everywhere. And oh, relationship is increasing with these two. Because if I could hold all of this, that would be quite splendid. I think what I'll do first. Oh shit, there's 160 armor there. And they're going for the town. No, you're not going into the town. I'm gonna stop you before. Well, fortunately for me, there's a few other um, troops that come in to aid you. Open, oh, open-minded person. Well, 
it just so happens that I'm gonna tell you to surrender or die, you bastard. See how open-minded... Oh, it deteriorated. It, 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 it went from 10 to 11. Oh, you're an open-minded person. Surrender or die, you absolute turnip! Oh, you're not so open-minded. 11 to 10. Very well, I hope that we should have avoided this. Here goes my entire army. Um, up against these bastards. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Um. Fa favorable drain, maybe? Let's see. Most of it is infantry, so the infantry will go infantry to the front! Oh, the enemy is already charging. Cavalry! Counter charge! Infantry! Counter charge! Where do we have the. Uh, oh, we have the artillery. Where do I have my. Arches! Arches to the hill! Oh, the FPS is really tanking here. I thought I actually was going to lower it for. Um, what's it called? For the Boshin War mod. But maybe I should lower it for this as well. Oh, look at that! There's the cannon. It's out of ammo. Don't touch my cannon! Oh, this is horrible. Why is it so laggy? Let's go do this and then back. Is it working a little better? Yeah. The thing was, the FPS wasn't that bad, but it still, like, lagged really badly for me. I think I have to reduce the amount of soldiers that I have on the field. How are we doing here? Uh, currently, we have lost 7 dead, 14 wounded, while the enemy, you can see, it's constantly ticking up. Dit, 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 dit. We are victorious. We are going to win this. And I'm hoping that we have enough men to successfully siege the town. The lucky thing is that they seem to have very recently taken that town, which means that it's very low garrisoned and it would be quite easy then for me to uh, storm in storm in and uh, take it not entirely sure why the order has so many uh, foreign troops in it that's the thing that which is a bit weird in Mount Blade the, the when Lord deserts from uh, from one faction and they are and when the lords are so specific to the faction um, that you have this really strange um, thing where you have the the true like the uh, Mongol troops fighting for the order and I've seen order troops or order uh, generals fighting for uh, um, what's it called fighting for the the Mongols which is pretty strange we've lost 21 men dead 40 wounded compared with the enemy which has lost most most of its force let's see which of these are enemy you're an enemy uh, the pistol wasn't actually as bad as I first so thought I th the thing which I needed was just to um, to get a little bit better at using it as in getting a bit more points put a bit, a bit more points in firearms um, and then it became actually pretty useful because now it kills uh, now it kills these guys in one shot most of the time and when they're moving up in these kinds of formation it's quite easy to uh, hit them even though a bow would have probably been more accurate. Come on then you bastards! Die! And give up your town! My ambition knows no bounds! Slay them all! There's one guy over there coming back. So, 
the enemy has lost 266 men, I've lost 28 dead, 53 wounded, which roughly leaves me with about 125 men ready to go up a, for the siege. And I took out all the armies, the, all the enemy's armies around here, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I will be able to lay the siege um, without a doubt and destroy my enemies. Have I? I think we have won. No, there's one. They're fighting one guy over there. I think. There we go. For some reason, it took ages. Oh yes, now I remember what I was talking about earlier. I was talking about the technology level. Um, Duke Enrique. Thing is, I, you know what? I probably need f more friends than I need prisoners. Ooh, fifty R. Oh. Ooh R. Oh. Well, I, I can sell it, sell. That's good. Um, but that was a pretty powerful army. Uh, I mean, armor. A bit old style, though, and mine is a lot better. We still have one army out there. We have 188 men. Probably need a few to be upgraded. Militia to footmen, swordmen, mercenary pikemen. What do mercenary pikemen look like? Veteran cannoneer, men at arms. Where did the mercenary pikemen? Uh, because we have, we have the technology level. I think we are up to f level four for the Swathians. But I, I th if I remember correctly, I think it's the Nords that are at level six or something out of ten. So um, definitely, we need to get our kingdom going a bit more on the technology scale. Anyways, let's go ahead and lay siege this town and lead my men in the assault. Hopefully, this will go pretty smooth and not turn into an absolute shit fest. Oh, there's only one ladder. Who, who is in command of the siege works? Put one ladder at the wall. That's always so brilliant about this. I mean, there's some mods that adds, at least adds a few more ladders. So at the current state is about even. We got two dead on both sides, two wounded on our side. Okay, we're starting to drop a bit more on our side. The thing is, I think that maybe I need to go up first. And just be, you know what, look at that. They're actually letting our, our guys in. So they're, they're retreating that way. So we should be able to just pour through here. And in terms of casualties, we have about twice theirs. So in the end, in the long run, this is not going to work. Um, unless I get up there and start slaying people. Firing at this range is not going to do because, well... It's not accurate enough. Come on. Why? There would... At least one more ladder. I can squeeze through here, maybe. You know, I probably could if I had someone to stand on. But I'll have to remove my armor for that. I should have been there to charge up first. You know what? Now there's not that much difference. We have lost 40, 50 people and they have lost 32. So it's not that much difference at this point. And you can see up there how we've pushed through. The thing is, I, I want to get up there so I can start slaying some people. Especially the bloody crossbowmen. Although the it seems like the Order doesn't have that many crossbowmen. So it's not actually taking such a big toll on our men as in other sieges. Although I just saw a guy get shot and fall off there. Come on, let me up. The thing is, the siege, the siege master, the guy I've put in charge of siege, has, I think, 10 points in siege. So he should be pretty good at sieging, but still, you know, he goes for a single, a single ladder. You know, it's been a mountain blade tradition to have a single ladder. I'm not gonna change that. I'm a traditionalist. Do not question me. 
But if we had at least two, we would be able to split the enemy force along the wall. No. One ladder is all you need. I've been here sieging castles for, you know, hundreds of years. And each time we just use one ladder because all you need is one ladder. So many flags are crap, you can't even see what's going on. Everyone with a cross though needs to be shot. If you could just pass by here a bit, if just this guy could go a little bit and push me out inside. And I'm gonna get these bloody archers. Away with you, wild beggar! Away with you and away with you. And then there's you. Ah! That did not do a lot of damage to me. Whoa! We. Wait, how many have we killed? 112! Then we are uh, victorious. Although I think we need to fight in the inner courtyards or something like that, maybe. No, we just got. We got everyone in the first. I'll request it to be rewarded to me. We've got people to be upgraded and we'll wait there for some time because I imagine that we are going to fall under siege. But um, as I recover my men, there's no there's no uh, risk of us losing this unless there's a huge army coming up, which I don't think. We need to hold on to this. Yes, after consulting the realm, has decided to... Yes! Yes, give me this town. Oh, shit. We're gonna leave a garrison and we're gonna get more men over here. Oh, welcome back. Spreading the word of my fame. Um, yes, I'm gonna be going back, getting more men, and then we'll probably have to do a defensive battle here. And here we are for the battle. The enemy is charging at our walls. I've bought these bombs, hoping that they can deal quite a few... <laughs> oh, look at that. Um... They did not deal nearly as much damage as I thought they would, but it was pretty cool seeing those guys fly away. We'll see how much of this I'll actually show. Oh shit, I'm getting hit here. Um, I'll head over to the flank. We'll see about how much of this battle I'll show because there's so many enemies coming on and I know that I've already done almost 30 minutes of this episode so uh, you know grinding through all these waves of attackers is probably gonna be quite too much to showcase everything but we'll show some of it just to see well we can see here the disparity in between us and the enemy or the enemy in between us because we have lost a total of 13 men, where which three are dead, while the enemy has almost lost at this point almost a hundred. So they are losing about 10 times as many men as us. Um, well, not really 10 times because at this point we have lost about 20. So they they at least lost about. 20 to 4 times as much troops as we have. And I mean, firing the pistol into this um, group down there is pretty easy to get uh, a kill. Oh, here comes another wave. I'm not sure about those flags. Those flag looks like they're from like the Byzantine Empire. And, oh, we've got a few Mongols in among all of it also. That's also good. So we've got Mongols, Byzantine flags. I guess the Byzantines might be from that secret kingdom that lives under the sea. Oh, this one actually had an arrow in it. Or bolt, I mean. We're not... Oh, shit. We're not going to do the same mistake as as the uh, the enemy did, so I'm going to tell the infantry to charge and the cavalry to charge to not hold on to the position 
that they originally have. Yeah, this very much looked like a Byzantine soldier. And a lot of these soldiers actually do. And we have a few of them which are definitely Svadians. So we've got very much a mixed bunch of troops coming on here. Come on then! I'll slay you all. And there we have it! We have won against the first waves of attackers. A lot of men lie dead, but we still hold on to the castle. And I think with uh, the uh, with uh, as much as I recorded right now, I think we're going to end the video right here. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.